Well, guys, I'm back to my Pokemon Ome Omega Ruby Hoenn Lock playthrough. It has been several weeks since I've been back to this series, as I've been both too busy doing MTWS and just haven't had really any interest in playing. I tried multiple times to do it, and I was like, no, I just don't feel it. I don't feel like doing it. So now that that's, now that I'm finally back to the series, well, let's continue on, shall we, as I try to get the fourth badge. And, of course, since I didn't do... I mean, went back when May took me back there. Now I gotta go back there manually on my own, which is really annoying. Very soon, I will be able to fly eventually, which I can't wait for. But I gotta go all the way back here manually, too. Let's, of course, go over all this. And stop lagging, game. Stop doing it forever. Alright, so now I gotta go down here. One. Oh, come on! Line up already! Here we go. Now! This is where I need to go. Up Mount Chimney, I think it was. To stop Team Ock, I mean Team Magma. From putting the meteorite in the volcano. I, I don't think I've said this before, but I actually like the old cinematic better. In Ruby's Zephyr and Ember, where you actually see yourself going up the cart. And you see the soot venture when you get higher up. I like that more than this one. Alright. So now let's go. Like the only time I ever used the cart. And there's no new Pokemon up here in Mount Chimney to catch. So there's nothing to do right here. So I got Bow to do. As there is Archie. Fighting off Team Magma Grunts right there. As there's another Grunt to take care of. Alright. So let's see. What do you got? By noon and Curly. Well, I think Blazikin's up front, so I hope to have an advantage and disadvantage. As I'm still massively overleveled. I'm at levels I'd be. Honestly, I'm at levels where I'd face where I'd be, if I remember correctly, he have Swift Swim. I'm at levels, I think, where I would be when I face, like, Tate and Liza, potentially. And I haven't even faced Flannery yet, for crying out loud. I am so way ahead of levels. I'm at the levels I'm at where I'm supposed to be with the first, the seventh badge, and I'm only at three. I'm still not exactly sure if it's just the double battles causing it and all that, because this is getting ridiculous. Alright, level 38. And, of course, thank you. Ah, that did nothing, really. Oh, that's right, it's neutral. So yeah, thank you, um, Gorbis for missing earlier. I really appreciate that. Oh my god, come on! Blaziken, stop missing yourself too! Alright, now I gotta think of someone else to go up front with Gorbis. <clears throat> Let's see, who's gonna go up front now? Oh, level 36. Alright. So we'll fix that. I wonder why they're at level 37 and the rest were at 36. I know I would have updated their levels after filming the last episode. That don't make a lick of sense. Alright. Time to take on the admin, Habitha. Duskny, Dusknor or whatever, and Grovile. And this could be a little bit of trouble. Robot won't be an issue. Dustnor, however, will be a problem. Oh, thank you for having Frisk too. I really appreciate that. Uh, I think Mud Slap and Rock Two will do the most damage, and we're gonna do Sludge on Grovile. Okay, on go because Swallow, remember, has a shit ton of special attack. It's like all special. We're gonna Rock Two, hopefully Dustnor goes down. And of course, being a tank, as always. Wait, what? Is it block or. Or fossil? Ooh! Oh, maybe it was Brick Break. Which, so. Ouch! But at the same time, that did very little damage. And of course, I have no option but to do Sludge, which isn't going to do much. But you have low HP, so yeah, you're going to go down. Alright. Alright. All that's left is Maxi. Just 
Time to put the meteorite in that device, which will set up the volcano, which will cause a massive eruption throughout Hoenn to expand the um, landmass. Time to go down, Maxi. Electrike and dig off. Oh, Electric, I bet you would not like a mud slap now, would you? And since that doesn't make contact, I don't have to worry about potentially static. No, 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 don't body slam. You, you have terrible attack, remember. Down you go, bigger off. Looks like it was a crit, too, with the affection. And that also reminds me, too. Ooh, Sludge Bomb, let's see what this does. 125 power. Ooh! And if I'm correct, I think that could potentially po badly poison instead of just poison. It's less powerful, but it's less accurate too. So do I go with the less power and less accuracy for the potential poison? The um, toxic level. I think I think I'll just stick with Sludge because I'm not sure Sludge Bomb does indeed cause badly poison. Alright, Mud Slap. Bye bye, Electric. And of course, I'm gonna do this. If I remember correctly how you do it. Oh, it didn't work. Maybe it doesn't work in Double Bows. Where if you, um, touch. Either touch or tap the, um, touch screen after you beat a Pokemon, you can pet your Pokemon before they gain EXP and all that. Which I think is a cool feature. They should have done it afterwards. But who knows? Maybe it's not in, um,. Arras. Maybe it's only in X and Y, because I know I could do it there. Or who knows, maybe it doesn't work in Double Bows. Tapping it now? Nope, didn't do anything there. Well, if it is just Double Bows, then I can't do it at all in this series, since everything's a single... I mean, a Double Bow. No, there's no Single Bows. Except when I first fought May. Or if I, on purpose, only had one Pokemon. Alright, so... I find funny how, um, Maxi. Oh, that's right! If I remember correctly, in, um, Aras, he doesn't give you the Meteorite. You have to take it from the device instead of him giving it to you. And I find it weird how he would just give it to us after we just beat him. You'd think he'd try and defend it and hold on to it at all costs. But hey, we stopped Team Magma. And of course, I know his stairs over there. So let's see, because this is a whole different area if I remember correctly. Yep, because you don't come down here, you can't come down here if I remember correctly in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It's a TM. Ooh, Sludge Wave! Ooh, I wonder what that will be with, maybe if Swalock can learn that. Ooh, it's less powerful than Sludge, or it's less powerful than even Sludge Bomb, but it's more accurate. And it does hit multiple targets. But of course, that would also hurt uh, my team, and I'm not really a fan of moves that hit my team, like at all. So I don't know if I'm going to teach that. I, I didn't even see if Swallow could even learn. I didn't even pay attention if it said unable or able. All right. So now that that's taken care of, time to continue on. All right, here we go. Jagged Pass. This is a new encounter now. First time in a bit. So let's see. Up. Oh, well. Dang it. And of course, this place sucks. You have to have the Aqua Bike in order to go back and explore everywhere. And let's see my encounter. Mawile. Funny enough, too. Which is a normal Ruby and Aras exclusive. But of course, as always, I'm at level... I mean, I'm 18 levels higher, so I can't really do anything to it. Oh, that's right. There is one option. Electric. This is like, I mean, Manectric is like the only thing I can do. Bring it out and paralyze. That's like it. That's like all I can do. Right. That's an okay amount. Maybe you have a lot of attack there in a while? Remember, this game has randomized stats. Oh yeah, and Bite is very strong too. It's right. It's like 140 power. But I don't feel comfortable attacking it. Even if I'm 17 levels lower. I mean, higher. 
So here we go. Give it a try. Mm, of course. This is where false swipe would be useful, but no, I don't have false swipe. Ooh, is that maybe a crit? Nope, but each knee? Ah! You jackass. Stop being a dick and get caught. Each knee? Son? Come on! Oh, damn it! It's paralyzed on the spot! You're getting annoying. Stop going backwards! Fake tears, that lowers my special defense. That's not gonna help me, though. Like, if you did something that lowered my attack, that would be much more appreciated. One. Each. Me. Son. Go, oh, come on! Stop using moves that don't do anything. So I had Bite, Sweet Scent, Fake Tears, and Vice Grip. Normal moves for a while to have. Each. Stop it! Stop it! I can't really... Hmm... You know, maybe I should give Swallow to go. Buy Slam, if I remember correctly, is weak. Does not have a lot of attack, and it's gonna resist, so maybe that would work. And do some sort of damage. Come on, you can't knock out, please. Oh my god, I did nothing. Problem is, that's just so weak that it's not gonna do enough. And of course, you go and freaking miss like an asshole. Swalot, stop being a bitch. Uh, I don't feel comfortable doing any other attack because now it's taking enough damage, probably, that would probably guarantee a knockout. I can't do sludge because of steel. Come on. Stop trolling me! Get caught! Let's see, check moves. Maybe Blaziken will be better. It has higher attack and quick attack stronger, so maybe it would do better. Play tears again. Which doesn't it's not even really valuable since all your attacks are physical. Alright, come on, don't do much damage. Oh god! Here we and of course, thank you for the crit. I really appreciate it, Blaziken. Thank you very much for that. Oh my god, like another catch I've been screwed out of getting because it's BS. That's not like Wobbuffet! I have no idea. Well, it disappeared now. But that did sound like Wobbuffet. Oh, that's right, too. Let's see. Cacturn, Feebas, Mawile, Agron, Electrite, Shed Ninja, Salamance, and Lunatone. So, huh. I'm trying to think. Maybe it was Cacturn I heard? Alright, so another Pokemon bit the dust. Thankfully, coming up, I am gonna get an egg encounter, which I have no idea if it'll still be way not, but hey, that'll at least be a Pokemon I'll get. Let's go. Alright, Blaziken and Lumbre. Alright, Rock Tomb on Blaziken and Sludge on Lumbre. Bye bye, Lumbre! You got wrecked! Let's go! Alright, down you go, Blaziken. Or never mind, somehow you should just tank that. Oh god, that would have been terrifying. Oh god, Swalock got hit by it. But we're both weak to it. That's a pretty good move. Maybe you have Bulldoze. And of course, it's all I need is freaking um, speed boost to negate the Rock Tomb. 
you go. Down you go, Blaze again. Alright. I hate... I hate that so much. This is like the only place where I'm... Other than the Safari Zone where the Aqua Bike is really needed. And it's just so annoying. They have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to battle all the trainers and get all the items or whatever. So a lot of times I just don't even bother. And I usually like battling all the trainers. But the Agron bike is just too annoying. And I just realized I gotta switch out my team. Alright. Rock Tomb on Warren and Sludge on Love Disc. Bye bye, Love Disc! Go down, you go, Warren. Hey, Warren! If you're on my side, I would have my um first team that I use might beat X Y. My main team was Warren Swallow on X D. How nostalgic remembering that again? I mentioned it too in a previous episode. All right, so now let's see. We're gonna put up Manectric and then Slacking. Alright, I think that was a- oh, damn it! Man, I didn't see it till the last second! Uh, oh, wait, there's still one more trainer I could do. Oh, thank you for that. Man, I'm mad. Oh boy, Swampert and Slack here. Two really powerful members of Hoenn are gonna go at now. And of course, Manetric is not a good spot since Swampert is um, immune. But, Bite is very powerful, so we'll do that. I guess I'll do Slash and Slack King. Alright, hopefully Manetric will do enough because Slack King is useless now for next turn. Got a game set like this in Double Battles. I need to do that um comp that um strategy and um at the end of Coliseum or Evis or whatever his name was used um a build in guard wait, I can't remember what um skill swap, there we go. To get rid of Truant on Slag King. Oh my god, that was such a terrifying combo. Alright, Route 12, of course. No grass here. And there was no encounter here in... In, um... What was it? Lava Ridge? Or whatever? Yeah, Lava Ridge. There's only one encounter here, and that's the egg. And I'm gonna do this right now because I don't feel comfortable about this BS. I'm gonna put someone away. That's something they need to get rid of in the Pokemon games. Badly. If you get an egg or whatever, you should be able to pick it up just like that. Not this BS, uh, you need a slot in order to pick it up. Just shut the fuck up and pick the fucking thing up. I don't care. I don't want to waste my time getting a new member out, I mean, putting someone away just to get an egg I might not even use, and I have to get them again. Just let me get the Pokemon right then and there. No excuse. Alright. So, let's see. Now, like I said, I don't know if I... Because I think this might be a, considered a stagnant... I mean, a static encounter. So if that's the case, this might still be way not still. Which would not be really good for me. Because uh, Wobbuffet can't learn any moves level enough. All we get once it evolves is Destiny Bond, Safeguard, Mirror Coat, and Counter. Now... It could learn HM moves in this, in this game, remember. Since it, all, HM moves are everyone can learn, so if I get a really good special attack or whatever, maybe I can teach it some um, Surf. Well, actually, I don't have Surf yet. But like Rock Smash and stuff like that, but right now I'm going to put it away. I want to focus on getting the gym done now. I might, maybe off screen, maybe I will hatch it and find out what it is. I'm really curious, but I got my encounter here. Alright, here we go. Time to take on the fourth gym. So I wonder what the type will be this time around. I think last time was flying with um, Watson. Let's see what Flannery does. And I do not like the gym puzzle. I mean, I don't like the um, gym puzzle in this one compared to Ruby and Sapphire Emerald. Mostly because it just takes so damn long. Like it, in Emerald, it's like so instant and all that. I don't like it here. Then again, I also don't like puzzles either. Oh, come on! I'm close enough! Oh, God, the lag. So, okay, so it's a ghost gem. Alright. But thankfully, I got Minetric with Bite. 
Oh, that's right! Slacking also has Fiend Attack, too! Alright, Bite on Shedinja. And Fiend Attack on Frostlast. Get out of here, Frostlast. I'm still very pissed off in the second episode, I think it was, when I couldn't catch you. Down we go, of course no one's surprised. Since you only have one HP. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, I think I'll keep Minetric up front right now. Alright, let's see what's over here. Oh, this is nothing right here, so I gotta go over here. Ugh, like I said, it's just so annoying, it takes so dang long, I hate it. Another Shed Ninja. I guess I'm going to be seeing Shed Ninja a lot because there's probably not that many ghost types in Hoenn. Which, hey, would make it easier for me because that's a guaranteed knockout. Yeah. Oh, you have... Wait, did say you ha Wait, was it Bennett or Shed Ninja? No, it could have been Shed Ninja. You're supposed to only have Wonder Guard. I could have swore it said Shed Ninja on the finger because it went by so quickly. There's no way you have um, Frisk, though. You have to have Wonder Guard. Alright, Slack King gonna get to level 37. Oh my god! Really, Metric? You had to miss! Come on! Of course, joke's on you, Shed Ninja. All my moves are physical! Ha ha ha! So suck to suck! And of course, Truant. And get bitten. Go down. Bye bye! And. Alright, now I gotta figure who's gonna replace. Sh um, Slack King, because I'm pretty sure there's other level 37 mem members on my team that are closer to 38 than Slack King is. Alright. Oh my goodness! Four! Seriously, four? Wow! Agron right on the mark! I did not bow you yet. A double Bennett. Alright, so fight. And of course, can't do anything super effective, so let's go with Rock Tomb. There we go. Oh, couldn't get the level up, but Agron, of course, by the fall with the 4 EXP will. Alright, Rock Tomb. Down you go, Bennett. Alright, level 38. Alright. I think it was Gorbis. Yeah, Gorbis was next to closest to level 38. And, of course, Minectric just leveled up, so let's see who can go up front now. Well, I'll be damned, it's Agron again! Alright, then. Up you go. Alright. Wait. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, dead end. Shit. I was about to say, like, hold on a minute. I remember last time going through here that... I had to go behind, over here and get behind Flannery in order to get to her or something like that. So, of course, a stupid dead end tricked me. I hate that. Several seconds wasting my time. And another Shed Ninja! Here we go! Now, there's one problem. No one on my team right now has a... Oh, wait, no, that's right. Rock too much right. Okay, so Shed Ninja can be taken out one hit. Alright. Um, I guess let's do Whirlpool on Duskull. <laughs> and, of course, thank you for missing. I really appreciate that there, Gorbis. You've missed multiple times this episode already. It's getting very stupid. Alright, level 38. That thing was Pursuit. Alright, so Rock Tomb not gonna do anything, really. Probably Whirlpool is just gonna be neutral. OH MY GOD, Gorbis! STOP MISSING! Dude! 
back to back missing. Stop doing that. What the hell's the matter with you? God. Idiot. All right, so now. Wait, now, now I think I think that was behind Flannery, so that's not right. I don't think there's a trainer back there. And how about that? The fourth Shed Ninja I've seen now. With a Banette now. Alright. Go. Of course, I gotta do Rock Tomb. And I think I'll do Whirlpool once again on Banette. Oh, it's a Chow, yeah, Chow Sneak. See, Gorbis? It wasn't that hard to hit. God do it. And you're supposed to take it out. Oh, lovely. Cursed body. Thank you for that. Hopefully Whirlpool will finish you off if I doubt it. Come on, be enough. Be enough, please. Ugh. And I gotta deal with potentially Shadow Sneak again. Should have done Drain Piss. Missed the Shadow Sneak. Oh my god. Come on, Gorbis. You've missed like four times this episode. What the hell is the matter with you? Why are you missing every single hit? You idiot. Man, Gorbis, you've been disappointing me so much that I think I'm going to have to consider replacing you next on the team. Because you are missing way too often. You're getting stupid. Alright, so now I'll take you on. Cross last and shup it. Go. Now, of course, I can wreck you, um, Frost Lass with a Metal Claw, and then we'll do Whirlpool on Shuppet. Oh my god! Gorbis! That's five times now you missed! Stop it! And of course, there's Cursed Body again. It, he won't stop missing! I'm getting tired of this crap! Stop missing! Iron Defense, you're all physical attack, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so... Nope, no iron defense for you. Alright. Dark Pulse. So you have to do a lot of damage. That's right, can't do Metal Claw. Alright, we'll do Drain Kiss trying to get some HP back. Oh my god, Corvus, you're becoming a liability on the team, and of course you can't even finish off Beater. Thanks a lot. Like, seriously, Gorbis, you're becoming a liability. You've missed five times now in this episode. What is wrong with you? Why are you missing all the time? As that is the last train, if I remember correctly. Before dealing with Flannery. Oh, wait, no, I think there might be... Yep, there's another one. Because I was thinking, I go here and I'm right at Flannery, but I'm like, nope, there's another floor down here. Frost Lass again and Dust Skull again. As there's very few ghost types in this region, apparently. Oh, you frisk bastard! Take your item stealing ass somewhere else. Um, I think maybe I'll give Whirlpool another try on Dust Skull. Of course, had to have Shadow Sneak. Oh my god, come on! You gotta do better than that, Gorbis, you know it. And this is why I'm saying I think you're got to be next to replace. You're not doing enough damage, and you can't even um, land hits, apparently. Like, seriously, stop it. Sure comes the Shadow Sneak. Alright, here we go. Thirty-nine. Okay, Aqua Tail. Let's see. Ugh, the accuracy. <laughs> That's not even really that be better. Except maybe 
It has better accuracy, but it's less power, and I have no idea what Gorbis's attack is compared to physical, I mean, special attack, so I think I'll just keep, um, um, Whirlpool still. Alright, so there we go. That was the last trainer. Alright, up front you go, Slack King. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, also, we're gonna put Minex up front since Agron's already at level 39. All right, here we go. Take on Flannery. <laughs> it's silly doing this, but it's it's at least funnier than um, Ruby Sapphire and Emma when she has such a hard time saying this. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, Lannery, here we go. All right, let's see what you got. Trying to say what her teammate, her team, how many Pokemon she has, and she's gonna stop with a horde of Dust Skull. Oh, free. All right, Manectric and Slack King, let's make mincemeat of these. Oh, you stop stealing my item! You cunt! Get out of here! You get out too. Thank you. Get out of here, Dust Skull. Now you can get out of here! Serve you right for stealing my items! Alright, let me guess, it's gonna be another Dust Skull. Oh my god, our whole team is Dust Skull! <laughs> and of course now, um, Slag King can't do anything for the Truant, so it's gotta rely on Minetric now. Ah. <laughs> I don't think they even did any attack! I literally did a perfect, well not, yeah I think I, yeah, I did do a perfect sweep on her. I swept her, and I didn't take a single hit. <laughs> These gyms have been so stupidly easy. Uh, I've had more trouble I think with regular trainers than I've had gym leaders so far, that's wild. But yay, badge number four. And overheat, which is probably going to be crap. Because very powerful moves always are crap and randomizers in my experience. Yep, it's crap. Complete and utter crap. I'm not surprised. Alright. So, yay! I got the next badge! Now, here comes May! Who's gonna give me the go-go goggles? And if I remember correctly, she's gonna try to take me back to Pelberg, even though there's something I'm supposed to do, of course, right up here. So remember, there's the desert route from up ahead. Hmm. I'm wondering. Yep. Um. Oh, that's right. If I revive a fossil, that would be encountering Rustboro. So, yeah, I can get the fossil and catch an encounter in the desert still. Right? But, yeah, guys. That is going to wrap it up here as I might go now off screen and try and get that egg patched up and find out what it is. Alright, so see you all next time.